president, uh, Mike Krecker, for remarks. Shana Tova. Tova. Happy 5785. On behalf of your board of directors, welcome to Beth Torah, whether it's your first Rosh Hashanah with us or your 50th. This year, I am triply blessed. It's truly a great honor to ascend the Bima every week as president, following in the footsteps of so many wonderful leaders. It's a really great honor to stand up here as your lame duck president. <laughs> Obligated by our wise constitution, to oversee a peaceful transition of power next June. <laughs> and it's a really, really great honor that this coincides with our 50th anniversary as we celebrate our first half century and prepare for an even better second half century. First, let's look back. In 1974, <clears throat> our six founding families set out to create a new conservative congregation that would be egalitarian, participatory, welcoming, inclusive, and truly different from anything else in North Texas, a place where everyone could feel at home and make a difference. They, and the many people who followed them, and all of us here, have never stopped trying to honor that legacy. As we celebrate this golden anniversary, we have a team in place to lead us to even greater heights. Rabbi Rubenstein, Brandy Hunter, and Katie Babin are recent additions to our history, but working individually and as a team, supported by a small but accomplished and resourceful professional staff and our many wonderful volunteers, they are spearheading a new era here of enthusiasm, innovation, and optimism. You see it on Sundays and Wednesdays when our revitalized learning center makes the synagogue a place where kids want to come and are enriched by the experience. You see it throughout the week when people come here to learn, to bake, to dance, to knit, to play poker and mahjong, to do mitzvot, to grieve together, to camp together, to schmooze, all to reinforce the bonds of our community. And of course, we see it here in the sanctuary, where every Shabbat our rabbi teaches us and inspires us. Our kids have a great time and our members make services even more meaningful because we lead them ourselves and make them come alive. And then we celebrate by spending time together and eating, of course. I know weekends are busy with lots of demands on your time, but Shabbat here is time well spent. Did I mention that we eat? <laughs> Most weeks you're helping, you're helping to buy us lunch through your dues, so come and cash in. Afterwards, the rabbi assures me it's okay to shoot hoops in the courtyard. Since last Rosh Hashanah, we've accomplished a lot to make Beth Torah a better, more professional, more inviting place. One by one, they may not knock your talus off, but it all adds up. Here's just a few. Our main bathrooms, right out there, have been significantly spruced up. So has our main entrance with new landscaping that gives a much more attractive first impression of our synagogue. We're continuing to spruce up the education wing as well. We have standardized and st streamlined and standardized our communications, updating our logo, bolstering our online presence, and adding the monthly connections and mazel mail to bond us together better. We've updated our Wi-Fi and other technologies and reinforced our security equipment and procedures. Our Mishloach Manot program at Purim is back in a big way. We're working on a new and better outreach to the UTD community right down the street. We've brought community scouting groups into our synagogue and welcomed a new LGBTQ teen group where they can feel safe and accepted. Fern Gerstein, Zeline Lovett, and Eileen Kessner are working diligently to organize and preserve an archive worthy of our history. Thanks to Matt Morris and the Men's Club, in a couple of weeks you're going to enjoy a new sukkah that won't endanger our aging backs to set up and take down. <laughs> and if you're tired of yelling at each other in the Oneg room, 
Help is on the way. <laughs> Thanks to Sisterhood, big improvements are coming soon to the acoustics there. We'll celebrate all this at Founders Day and the rabbi's installation in November, at a big party in May, and other events throughout the year. But we have to look forward as well. Every synagogue faces challenges in the 2020s, and conservative congregations perhaps more than most. We have to show younger people and busy families that a synagogue is still worth their time and commitment especially when our community is more geographically spread out than ever. We have to show that our philosophy, respecting tradition but adapting it to changing times, is not just worthy and relevant, but essential for a diverse community. We all have to be ambassadors for Beth Torah, showing the Jewish community that we may not be the biggest or fanciest synagogue in town, but we can be the best fit to bring together people of different backgrounds and interests into a beautiful Jewish mosaic. And we have to head into our next half century on a solid financial footing. So I know you've been wondering all summer. This is the 20th annual Shield of David campaign. Manishtana. How will this year's Shield of David pitch be different from all other presidential pitches? <laughs> Honestly, not much. In our current annual budget, the dues we will collect should cover about 60% of our projected revenues, expenses, excuse me, projected expenses. We have other sources of income, fundraisers, rental from the preschool, and more. We spend our money wisely, but to keep our dues reasonable, to keep the lights on, our 21 air conditioning units humming, and all the rest, to pay our staff and keep moving forward, to remain large enough to serve you, small enough to know you, we need the shield of David to balance our budget. I came here today prepared to lie, because I still have 10 more days to repent. <laughs> but I don't have to. I'm proud to report that 100% of your board of directors have already set the example for the rest of us by making their shield of David pledge. Please join them as much as you can, as much as you're comfortable. The amount is up to you and none of our business. What matters is that this community affirms our present and invests in our future. If you don't have your Shield of David pledge card, we just happen to have one for you at the convenient wheel call table in the lobby. You can also contribute through the office or online after the holiday. Many thanks to those who already have and to those who will. This has been a difficult year in many ways for Israel, for those of us concerned about what's happening there, as well as the rising anti-Semitism and the bitter, personal, bitter political divisions here. We can only hope the new year brings better tidings. But we can also do our best to ensure that Beth Tova remains a shelter in the storm, a beacon in the community, a place of comfort and solace enlightenment and inspiration, civil discussion and mutual respect, pride and joy as we cope together with whatever the world has in store. That's my lame duck goal this year. I hope it's yours too, and let's all make it happen. Again, Shana Tova, thanks for listening. Thank you for being part of this wonderful community, and here's to a great 50th anniversary year. <laughs>